Hey guys, what's up? Let's talk about one of my favorite topics here, which is wireless technologies. And in the new CCNA, uh, which I have back here, the book, the CCNA 200-301, and also in Enterprise Core, the 350-401, they are going to talk about different wireless topics. So they are pushing wireless more into these certifications, which I think is really great. But in this video, I want to talk about a very specific topic, which is configuring a WLAN and a w, uh, WPA2 pre-shared key for that WLAN. And that's going to be done in a GUI with a Cisco controller. So in this lab, I have a 3504 Cisco wireless controller, which is running on 8.10 code. And if you have a controller running previous code, it should be about the same. But why don't we dive right into my screen here and look at this configuration, which is going to be fairly simple and straightforward. Here I have my wireless controller, and I am going to log in with my super secret password. Here we go, logging into the controller, and we're, we're put into this dashboard here, which I, I don't really utilize that much, but you can see that I have one access point that is connected. We're going to use that access point to broadcast that SSID that I will configure, that WLAN. Here you can see I do have, uh, the. it's got a little photo of my 3504 controller. You can see the version that it's running. Maybe I'll make that screen a little bit bigger there for you guys. But what we're going to do to configure a WLAN and an SSID to broadcast, we're going to head over to WLANs here at the very top. Click on that. You can see I have no WLANs configured. What I'm going to do is move over to this right side right here, and we're going to select Create New, which should be selected by the default, and then click on Go. From there, we are going to create the type called WLAN. You have two other options, but we're going to focus on WLAN. We're going to give this WLAN a profile name. You can give this profile name anything that you want. I'm just going to call it uh, you know, CCNA test, for example. And the SSID, I want to call it CCNA test. Same thing. And with the ID, there are various IDs, <laughs> a lot of different ID numbers that you can select. The f it'll start with the lowest available ID number. And one thing to note is if you actually pick, I believe, something higher than 20, it will not uh, add this SSID to the default group, which I'll show, show you later. So what I want to do here is hit apply. We are put into then the, the edit mode for the CCNA test WLAN. From here, we can see the profile name again, the SSID if you want to change that. Currently, the status is set to uh, disabled. We want to select enable and make sure that is going to start broadcasting. You can see what kind of security policies is currently set for this WLAN, and we will change this in the security tab up here. But we will look at radio policy. This allows you to select which radios are going to be used if you want 802.11a only, or maybe you want to just use A and G and get rid of B. We'll just do all for now to keep it simple. The interface or interface group is what you're going to bridge this WLAN to. And I have uh, three different networks configured on this uh, wireless controller. I'm going to set it to my lab Wi-Fi interface. And we want to broadcast this SSID. Now, we want to configure the WPA2 pre-shared key, or PSK. To do that, we go to the Security tab. And here, it's already selecting the Layer 2 security. We have WPA2 plus WPA3. There's also WPA and WPA2. I will keep it at that setting there. Security type, Enterprise. Enterprise is going to use something like a Radius server or or uh, a Windows NPS, for example. We want to use a pre-shared key, uh, just a simple password. It's the most uh, most, most uh, widely used in various companies. So we'll select personal. And then here we have what's called a policy, which selects WPA2. If we were configuring WPA3, we would select that, but we are just going to stick to WPA2. 
In this um, version of Cisco wireless controller, we do not have the options to select older encryption ciphers. So the only option we have here is CCMP 128 AES. We can leave a lot of these other settings just to its default because we're, we're, we're more interested in creating a WLAN with a WPA2 pre-shared key. And that's what we're going to look at here, PSK format. PSK is pre-shared key format and it's under authentication key management. This is the password that you're gonna use on your mobile device or your laptop to wirelessly connect to this WLAN. So here we're using, gonna use the ASCII format because we're just gonna type, type it in. All right, so uh, let's just choose a very simple password. Password one, two, three. Actually, I don't know if I did uppercase P. Password one, two, three. And it is a pre-shared key. We're not going to do PSK SHA-2. That is something else. So after that, then we go to the top right and just click on apply. So that's all it takes to configure a WLAN with WPA2 pre-shared key. We can open up another application to verify that this SSID is being broadcasted and by default, if we click on advanced on the left side and under AP groups, that WLAN will fall under the default group, AP group. And if you click on that and then go to the WLANs tab, you will see that CCNA test here is, is in this default group. So then if we go to the wireless tab, I, I just want to show you, I do have an access point, a uh, Cisco 3802i access point that will be broadcasting this SSID for us. So what we're going to do now is actually verify that this WLAN is broadcasting on our AP. I have opened up an application called Wi-Fi Explorer Pro, which I use on my Mac OS to do some network scanning. And I can see here, just by doing a filter on CCNA test here on the top left, or I mean top right, I can see the network name CCNA test being broadcasted by my AP. Here's the BSS ID. And you can see the signal strength because the AP is actually right here below me. But I can see what channel it's broadcasting on and it's there. So now I should be able to connect to this SSID with my mobile device. So what I'm going to do is take my mobile phone, uh, my iPhone, go to settings and then tap on Wi-Fi and look for the SSID CCNA test, which I do see on my phone. So what I'll do is go back here to the monitor tab on the WLAN controller and go to clients just to see if there are any clients connected. And you can see that there, there are no clients found. And so now I can type in the password to this new SSID, which was password 123, and I'll tap join on my phone. So as that's squiggling around, we'll head back to my wireless controller. We'll click OK here. And I do ha now have the checkbox on my phone, if I refresh this page, we can see that I have a new client here. And if we click on that client, you can see the MAC address of that client, its IP address, and it's, it's connected to this SSID on this VLAN that I've bridged the SSID to, the WLAN. And it looks like we're all good here. And you can see the policy type is WPA2, and it is using a pre-shared key. So there you have it. That is configuring a WLAN on a Cisco controller using the GUI. Pretty straightforward by looking at the WLANs tab and then adding or creating a new SSID, giving it a, a name, a WLAN SSID that you want to broadcast. You want to make sure it's enabled and then click on the security tab and allow WPA2 as your security method. And then you just punch in a password that's gonna be used for all devices. I hope you found this useful for your CCNA or CCNP studies. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thank you.